So I'm sure you guys have seen one of these, an automatic vacuum cleaner where with the touch of a button, this thing will automatically vacuum your entire house. Or one of these where with another touch of a button, your hardwood floors will get mopped. But what if they made something just like that that could clean your aquarium? Well, they do, and it's by Aquagenesis. Meet the Robo Snail. Say what? Much like aquatic snails commonly found in freshwater or saltwater aquariums, the Robo Snail is an automatic aquarium cleaner that every day will clean the surface of your aquarium glass, similar to the aquatic invertebrate. So in the box of the Robo Snail, we have a lot of stuff. First off is the battery pack. Next up, we have the instruction manual. Here is the charging base and the charger. And here's the main unit itself with the scrubber attached right there on the back. That part goes in the tank. Next up, we have the little base rods, which I'll show you later. Here's everything that comes in the box. Once again, there is that scrubbing pad. That's the one that goes inside the aquarium to scrub the algae. Here we have the drive unit, which goes on the outside of the aquarium. This is what basically runs the shell. Then we have the battery pack, the charging dock where it goes to at the end. And here are those rods that kind of extend out of the charging dock to help the robot navigate back. There's the charger. Obviously have the owner's manual and last but not least, the little Velcro strips. Assembly is super easy. All we do is take the base and snap the little extension rods right into place with two clicks. Then the cord simply plugs right into the back of the base station. This will obviously give the robot power as soon as it runs into the base. To install the battery, all we do is slide the battery cover off, put the battery in, connect it, flick the switch to on, and then just put the cover right back on the robo snail. Installation on the aquarium is just as easy. First, you wanna clean the inside as well as the outside of the aquarium glass. Next, all we do is take the Velcro, stick it on the back of the charging base, and click it into place on the front of the aquarium. Next up, I took the cord, ran it under the trim, then I'm gonna take the main unit and adjust my glass thickness. Take the scrubber, put it on the inside of the tank, put the main unit on the front and they attract with the magnets. Then just manually slide the robot right into the charging cradle where it can go ahead and do its first real charge. After a few hours, it should be ready to go into programming mode. To program, as you can see here, you press and hold the green light down until it starts flashing. As soon as that green light starts flashing, the robot's in programming mode. It's gonna go down to the bottom of the sand and you wanna click the green button about two inches from the bottom of the sand, making sure the unit doesn't get in the sand and drag it across your glass. This part right here is sped up, but what it's gonna go ahead and do is do its little programming thing, go to the top of the aquarium, and then it's gonna come right back down. Once again, on the second time down, you wanna click that green button about two inches from the sand bed. This programs the unit completely, a blue light will start to show, and the unit will make its way back to its base station to charge up. The light will be red while it's charging. As soon as the light turns green, you are ready to do your first cleaning cycle. A few moments later. Okay, so the unit is fully charged, as you can see. Programming done, and now we're ready to go ahead and do the first full clean. Now I have the lights dimmed in the room so you can see the tank better to help us get a little bit better of footage. But as you can see, the dock is right here. Robo Snail is right here. The glass is crystal clear front and back but I'm gonna go ahead and press this button to activate the unit. From then on, every 24 hours, say it's 11 a.m. right now, every 11 o'clock a.m., this machine will go ahead and do its job. I'm gonna go ahead and click the green button, and it's gonna go ahead and start activating. So without further ado, let's go ahead and watch it complete a full cleaning cycle. And just like that, the front of the aquarium glass is clean and the unit is now charging. I'm gonna come back when the unit is fully charged and run it again just so I can show you some key features and ways it kind of navigates around the tank. A few moments later. So the unit is completely charged up and I'm gonna go ahead and click the green button and it's gonna start its cleaning cycle. Now there's a ton of sensors on this guy. The first one right here is the top sensor. So as this unit travels up the glass, as you can see right here, it hits that sensor and that's how it knows to go down. Same one on the bottom basically, hits the bottom, knows when to go up. Luckily the unit is smart enough to not get any sand or gravel between the algae pad and the glass so it won't scratch your glass. The unit has tons of sensors. As you can see there's a little IR sensor I believe on top that it uses to find the dock. So this unit is super smart and for the most part it seems to know what it's doing. It travels in up and down motions to effectively clean the glass and it only takes like three, four, maybe five minutes to clean this four foot by two foot aquarium. It's pretty fast and that's something I really like about it because it is a little bit noisy. 
So it kind of helps that it's fast because you don't have to listen to the sound for that long. Now, once it's done, it is smart enough to go back to its dock, just like a robot vacuum. It can find its base on the right side of the tank, goes down, lines itself up correctly, and then it simply crawls back up to the base and recharges. From then on, every 24 hours, like I mentioned, it will do its little cleaning cycle and then return to the base. On the inside of the tank, we can see the scrubber pad in action. It doesn't startle a fish or anything, and it's just like a normal magnet cleaner. That gentle chattering motion helps scrub the algae, and as you can see, the front pane of my glass has remained algae-free for the entire time I've had this unit. Okay, so now that I have the unit all set up and I've been running it for a little bit, I wanna talk to you about some specs because I know when I first saw the unit, I was a little bit confused in some things, so I thought I should outline those now. First off, there's a switch on the bottom where you can go ahead and choose the thickness of your glass. This specific model will work up to glass or glass thickness up to 3 eighths of an inch thick anything beyond that it's not recommended so there's a switch on the bottom where if you have glass that's smaller than that there's a way to adjust it on the bottom so the magnets won't be too strong making the unit not able to move so it's totally adjustable another thing is the unit looks a little bit big in some pictures but fortunately it's not that obtrusive in person it's about four and three quarters inch tall about four inches wide and about two inches deep so it's not that big, but it does take up some space in the corner of the tank. Luckily, I think it adds a cool factor, especially with the light right here. It really adds a cool factor to your tank. I've had this unit for about a week and a half, and every time people come look at the tank, they always comment about it or ask what it is, and I can kind of show them what it does. So it's very cool, and I really love that about the product. This light, though, is also an issue at night because it doesn't turn off. So it's really cool during the day, but at night it is pretty bright, and especially because my bed is literally right there. It is kind of distracting sometimes. Luckily though, it's not that bad, it's just one tiny light. It's really not that big of a deal, but I do wish there was a way for the light to turn off at night. Another thing is that the color is gray and only gray. There's no other colors for the unit. I do think maybe in the future they should add maybe a black one because black kind of matches a lot of people's tanks. Black, I feel like, is the common color for people's tank stands and stuff like that but white is also another very popular color, so maybe a black and white version. That's just my idea. No idea if that's coming soon or not, but I think it would be cool to match the Robo Snail with your tank's decor. The next thing is that the unit works on all tanks, at least that are below that maximum glass thickness, but it works on rimmed aquariums like this one, but it also works on rimless tanks. It works on tanks that are like built into your wall, and then it works on freestanding tanks just like this one. It's very versatile, and it works for pretty much all aquariums. Something else that's very important is not only keeping the unit clean, but keeping the outside of the glass clean. If you let a lot of water and nasty stuff drip on your glass it's gonna cause the unit to slip and not perform as well so make sure you keep the glass clean and you should be good to go you can also periodically clean the wheels on the robot by just pulling it off the glass taking a little towel and wiping down the four wheels same thing with the scrubber on the inside I recommend every couple months taking that out and just rinsing it off just to keep it clean and up to par with the results you expect one more thing is that this unit will not turn corners meaning it's not gonna clean the sides or back of your aquarium now, if you wanted it to clean the sides or back, you could manually move it there, but just know it's not automatically gonna clean that. It's only gonna clean the surface of what you see right here, so it's only gonna clean the surface of the glass that the unit is docked on. Another thing is, yes, the dock has to be placed on the right side of the aquarium. Another thing that could potentially raise some questions is if you have snails or starfish or stuff like that that like to hang out on the glass in your tank. Now, I had a snail in the glass, the robo snail just pushed out of the way. It's not really that big of a deal. They do recommend manually removing them kind of before the unit runs, but I didn't and I had zero issues. The unit simply just pushed them right off. One more thing is this unit can be used in marine tanks like my reef tank, but it can also be used in freshwater tanks. So if you have a beautiful planted tank, you can definitely install this robot. It works on all types of waters, brackish tank, freshwater, salt water, so it's super versatile in that aspect. The last thing I wanna to touch on with the robo snail is the customer service. I've personally been in contact with the owner. He's super nice and he really stands behind his product. If you have any issues, go ahead and reach out to him and he will totally take care of you. That's one thing I can attest to is that Robo Snail, the company Aquagenesis in general, has amazing customer service. He's super fast at getting back to you and he'll help you with any problems you have with your unit. Now that is about it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed checking out the Robo Snail. And if you're interested in one, I will leave a link down below. They're really fairly priced actually. They're not as expensive as I expected and I could not be happier with the product. I highly recommend it. So once again, I'll leave that link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and good bye.